So I didn't tell my partner that I was gonna use the pink stuff to clean his Nikes. He didn't stop talking about it for the next two weeks. He's like, my Nikes look brand new. They look brand new. This is amazing. This thing costs less than 10 bucks. You can get it on Amazon, so it's super accessible. This pretty pink color, it smells very pleasant. It almost smells floral. Honestly, it works really well. Like it might not be the miracle cleaner that everyone on TikTok thinks it is, but it's still a really, really good cleaner. What's good about the pink stuff is when you have something like your baseboards or the inside of your oven, you want the cleaner to stick and cling to the sides or to whatever it is it's cleaning so that way it has a chance to eat away at the grime and the dirt, which loosens it and makes it easier to wipe away. So I'm gonna walk you through how it performed as an all-purpose cleaner, a kitchen degreaser, and as a bathroom cleaner. As an all-purpose cleaner, I think that the pink stuff is great. I used it to clean my vans. So here is a before. This is a very worn, dirty van, pink stuff clings to it really easily. I used a little scrub brush similar to a toothbrush. Scrub it in there. Shoe has some caked on pink stuff all around. So it's been about 15 minutes and I'm just gonna clean it with some water. Basically brand new shoes and the whole thing, whole process took me maybe 20 minutes, and that 20 minutes was only because there was that wait time. Applying the pink stuff and then cleaning it off took less than five minutes. I also used it to clean some of my baseboards. I've used it to clean away scuffs on the wall. That really works, and you don't have to worry about it staining your paint. Among everybody who tested the pink stuff, we all found that the pink stuff does cut through grease really well. Cleanup can kind of take a while. James Austin, one of the staffers at Wirecutter, he did his own test on his oven door. He split the door into four quadrants and used four different cleaners so that way he can compare the effectiveness of each. He used the pink stuff in one of the corners, a mix of baking soda and water in another, a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser in the third, and a wet sponge with no cleaner on the fourth. And he found each method to be effective. It just was the time it took to clean each that varied. Obviously, scrubbing with just a sponge with no cleaner took the longest. The Magic Eraser was kind of a similar situation where it struggled to cut through the grease. The pink stuff worked really well. James was able to clean that quadrant in less than four minutes, but he said that it was pretty difficult to wipe away thanks to its goopy texture. And I found something similar when I cleaned my oven door. Where the glass meets the steel of the oven door, I found, and so did James, that the pink stuff kind of like gets its way into those crevices and it makes it really hard to get rid of it. So you have to kind of go in there with like a damp paper towel. The mix of baking soda and water cleaned his greasy oven the best because the cleanup was super easy. It took him less than three minutes and it was easy to just mop up versus like struggling with the gloopiness of the pink stuff. As a bathroom cleaner, I don't really think that the pink stuff did that great of a job. A lot of people on TikTok say it works really well on their grout. They're showing it on their TikToks, like I do believe that it works, but I just couldn't get it to work. I used that brush that was similar to a toothbrush, took the pink stuff and massaged it into the grout, left it to sit for maybe half an hour, and when I rinsed it away, like it looked exactly the same as before. There was no difference. I've also seen a lot of people use it for like the hard water buildup that can form around your shower head or your faucet. Didn't really work for me. I've had better results in the past using baking soda and vinegar, but it made the chrome of the faucet shine. Oh my God, it, I've never seen it shinier. Like I was able to see my reflection in it. And one of our testers actually had a really good result cleaning her glass shower door. She was able to cut through the grime and the soap scum that built up over time on her shower door, so it works well on glass too. Yeah, I definitely recommend the pink stuff. I don't think it can replace every cleaner in your cleaning arsenal. This is a great addition. It's pretty. <laughs> it smells good. The packaging is just so fun. Yeah, I really like the pink stuff. Hi, I'm Elisa from the video. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe, and please let us know what else you'd like to see.